compliments of the season my lovelies i hope that we're all basking in the reason for this season which is the birth of jesus christ he was born to save the whole world that's you and me and as 2021 wraps up what are you grateful for count your many blessings name them one by one and it will surprise you what the lord has done hallelujah so don't allow the pressures of this season to make you grumble and the devil will be saying what about this thing that you didn't do what about this other thing that didn't happen what about the things that happened? What about the things that you did? As 2021, as you're taking stock, as the year wraps and comes to an end, what are the things that you did well? Praise God. What, where are the areas of improvement? We learn every day and there's always room for improvement. Take account of those things and trust God for grace to help you through the following year. As I said, your dreams were not meant to survive only in 2021. He's the same God yesterday, today and forever. When you have the ability to remember that means you have the possibility to enjoy victory. It is when David stood in front of Goliath, he remembered that it's the same God that delivered the bear into his hands. You know, that is also going to deliver Goliath into his hands. David quickly remembered, even as a little boy. So what are those things that you're grateful for? Let us not be like the Israelites. This is something the Israelites didn't master. And it made a journey of 40 days to become a journey of 40 years. We don't want to, you know, to, to prolong our wilderness experiences more than it should because we are ungrateful. You know, let's just be grateful and thank God. If you read Numbers chapter 11, it will tell you what happens when we murmur and complain. God's anger is rekindled. That will not be your testimony. That will not be my testimony. Train yourself to be grateful. Why? Because gratitude builds faith. It gives you stamina and capacity to withstand the evil days because it puts you in remembrance of the things that God did before. And if he did those things before, he's also able to do it now because he has not changed. So in this season, whether the fig tree blossoms or not, God, you and I are going to be rejoicing in the God of our salvation. Psalms 34 and verse 1 says, I will bless the Lord continually. His praise would continually be in my lips. So regardless of the situation, no matter what your eyes can see, we were going to keep blessing the name of the Lord. After all, he's the one who has the power to change everything. So count your many blessings. Keep your eyes focused on the good things that God has done. What about the prayers God, prayers God answered that you and I didn't pray for? There's a lot in this season to be grateful for. Don't allow the pressures of what you've not yet achieved, you know, to make you to grumble and complain. Remember, God's anger gets rekindled. And we don't want our wilderness experiences, you know, to 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 be longer than they should so let's remain grateful cultivate an attitude of gratitude it pleases god when we tell him abba thank you if you're watching me or you're a parent you know how you feel when the child just says mommy daddy thank you be grateful it